Okay, guys, I'm back. I've calmed down, got more water. I've gotten myself an ice cold frisk. And I grabbed myself a Lupo bar. Thanks, hon. Everybody give uh, Caitlin some head pats. Do it. Everybody head pat her. She's a good kitty. Anyways, um, let's go right into the Latin Games show. Oh, I need a palate cleanser. Here comes the party! Hi guys, it's Carolina Rosa. Oh. I'm a voice actress from Colombia. I've been fortunate to lend my voice to iconic characters in major gaming franchises. Particularly proud of representing Latin American characters. And today is all about that. Giving a voice to Latin America's presence in the gaming industry by highlighting some of its okay. finest. But before we delve into the showcase, let's celebrate some games available to play right now. Starting with the game that made this segment possible, a charismatic story-driven roguelike deck builder featuring a -like. gun and her planet ship, Baby Violence. Let's kick things off -like. with Zet Zillions. Apagando las luces. Hey everyone, Aito here, the producer from Otaimo Studios. We just released our latest game, Zed Zillions, in partnership with Rogue Fury, and we are so happy to be here showcasing it at the Latin America Games Showcase. Adding our voice to these other amazing developers is such an honor for us, and we really hope our community is having fun with Zed Zillions. We're still hard at work, getting ready to bring some new content to the game, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks a lot for the support, and now, enjoy the show. Oh, didn't they show this on the on Wholesome? From the start! Commander, we got volunteers! Frigate! Meatballs! Maybe we got a some Lord, commie! What's this now? Let's whip it! In a forgotten Master age, Blade. the ancients mastered secrets we could not fathom. Today their presence has vanished, their legacy buried beneath a world engulfed in darkness. Only Aster, the young chosen one, possesses the power to defy his evil and restore their last glory. Okay. Wait. Venture towards the monolith, a beacon of immense power left by the ancients. Face and conquer the dark forces that threaten to devour the world. Can Asta unravel the secrets of the ancients and save his people? Will Asta become the blade of the monolith? I just see. Dog. Hey, Lily. Ready to set sail? Absolutely, Howard. I can't wait to find the last disc. Wow. Aster has mixed reviews on uh, Steam. Damn. Now, what about this? Puzzle Chester? Chester! No, no, no. Alright. Deep beyond.
Grid based RPG. Hmm. Roguelike, maybe? Dungeon Drafters. Betcha? Betcha it is. Let's, let's see. Ooh. This looks cool. Nope, it's deck building, though. Glory Hunters. This looks cool. Alright, let's see. Like a, it's like a Zelda style game. Ooh, okay. I'm wishlisting this. This looks really cool. Kid pilot. You're a kid and you're a pilot. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. Pepperated music again. Strikes again. But this is neat. See, this is what Wholesome Direct was missing. Cool looking. They're not even at the showcase yet. And these are cool looking games. The, the pre-show to Latin games is already better. <laughs> I mean, how many 2D Zelda-like games have gotten more recently and yet and it doesn't understand why Yonima doesn't want that style of game? Exactly! Yeah, this game looks cool. Kid Pilot. Alright, I can unmute now probably. Mullet Mad Jack. Oh, this game, yeah! Oh, this game's fucking sick. I need to play this game. Everybody's got to do the Akira skid. Everyone, it's like a rule of gaming now. This game blows your mind. Mullet Mad Jack. Oh. Sci-fi mystery, eh? Mm. Read only memories. Yes, okay. There have been reports of a rogue esper of sorts. His name is Golden Butterfly, and he is not to be trusted. I is he dangerous? I now have access to every file in the Minerva database, which is a pretty stellar move, if you ask me. What is Wait, there's the both. There's two different ones on here. To feel good about yourself. This is okay. exciting. Do not. Oh, so that's it. Maybe we'll see each other again. Ah! <laughs> Only memories Neo Diver. Wasn't there one called 2064 Read Only Memories? Or is that a different game? Ooh. Rug Yuk? Is that what this is called? Okay, this looks fucking cool. RKGK. Okay. 
Oh yeah, this game. I've seen this before. I didn't know it was out. Raku Gaki. Available now. Sorry, what'd that say? Let me go back for a second. Saviorless. This looks cool. It's a Metroidvania, though. No! It's an action-adventure game. I wish listed that. Wow, the pre-show is great. If this is how good Driver is a sequel to Oh, it is a sequel to it? Okay. The pre-show's that good. Imagine how good the main show is. It's not about to be. Oh, excuse me. Flags. Oh, Latin America game show. Welcome to the Summer Game Fest edition of the Latin American Games Showcase. Brace yourself I love for her a selection outfit of hair. over 70 titles from across Latin America. And her nails, Each oh my god. a statement to the talent and dedication of our developers. Expect world premieres, exciting game announcements, and exclusive glimpses into upcoming releases. Keep an eye okay. out for this logo, signaling which games have playable demos. We're actually having a Steam sale event running from today until June 15th, featuring over 150 games, including mm -hmm. a rich assortment of demos and discounts. None of this would be possible without the long-lasting support of our presenting sponsors, Devolver Digital, Raw Fury, yeah. and Fellow Traveler, and to our sponsor, Panic. And now, let's dive in. Beginning with a selection of games bound to captivate you with their unique gameplay mechanics. Okay. Velver Chris Tales. Ooh. Oh, it's like an RPG. Oh, this art style is so good. Prisma. Soon on Kickstarter, okay. Oh. I heard about this, Goblin Pino. It's like the Sarah cleanup, but for like medieval. Let me find this game, Prisma. On uh, Steam. Maybe it doesn't have a Steam game yet. Puzzle game. I was lost. Okay. That monster slaughtered my entire world.
a night in a cyberpunk city. Deathbound. A Souls like game, I guess? Yeah, Souls Like is like the first thing that comes up for it. it looks cool though, I'm gonna wish list this. There's one type of essence we haven't tried yet. Hi Cassie, how are you? Train journey in into the grid, a thrilling roguelike deck builder that pushes rogue -like. the boundaries of a strategic gameplay. Dive into a cyberpunk setting where every move could be your last, and skillful hacking is the key to unleashing your power. In Into the Grid, players will explore labyrinthian grid-based maps where every node is full of risks and rewards. Discover powerful mm -hmm. card synergies, unlock cool. special of the blah blah blah, blah don't care. again. Bye. Cool art, but no care. World premiere. World premiere. Interesting. Heaven Crawler. Okay. Looks cool. I'm going to wish list that. Bitten and Quantum save the Earth. Hmm. Oh, Tinker Town. Oh, it's a fighting game? I was gonna say, why does that name sound familiar? Yo, Diesel Legacy. Hell yeah, that's getting worse this year. This is like a new character or something. The next fest demo. Oh, is next fest coming up after this? One shot card mafia.
third one shot. So what you guys missed, this is like a, 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 a card game, a card detective game, played with like cards. Kinda neat. And so it came to pass that all of humanity was punished for the sins of a single man. Now is time for those that remain to claw back our home and weather the tides of damnation. And you, our lord, must forge our fate. Please, Iron Lord, our people mm. are starving. Flesh will fade. Oh, builder. Strength of steel endures. Rise, brothers. Stand strong. Steal your heart. The Iron Hive endures. El Diablo me parece un personaje latinoamericano que se repite en muchísimas historias, que está constantemente en varios de nuestros espacios, en nuestras narrativas. Me encanta, me encanta el Diablo. Voy a decir una cosa extraña, pero Gabriel García Márquez, yo creo que nos hace falta hacer algunas cosas de realismo mágico más. Creo que el formato del realismo mágico se podría representar muy bien en un videojuego. De hecho, se ha hecho en otros videojuegos. Probably should have a card based slot. Yeah. Creo que de su obra podría salir algo muy interesante. I probably should have, but eh. We need to we need to put him in a game running some form of very scary show that becomes like more and more sinister. Is he still alive? I don't I don't think he I don't think he is. I think he passed away. Can somebody confirm that for me? I don't know what's it. What is he talking about? Ooh. Oh, this looks interesting. Gure? Interesting. Look at this up. Yeah, that's wish list too. That's like an instant wish list for me. Cat. Cat. Frog. Wait, is this also like a store? Same thing. Friends camping. Hidden in my paradise. That is very cute. How about I offer you a way off this cursed island? I need your help to get out of this cage. 
game to your wish list coming soon oh you got a fighting game round one go amazing crack lots of work. okay It's like Pong meets Smash Brothers. Oh, that's right. Exactly. is a tactical turn-based action RPG that invites you to saddle up and ride alongside several characters on a quest for vengeance in an untamed frontier of pixelated vistas. Today, we'll deep dive into some of its mechanics with never-before-seen footage of a boss fight that'll make even the most hardened monster hunter sit up and take notice. This is an advanced section of the game where we follow two cunning twag siblings that are knee deep in an epic heist. In Arco, all of your decisions matter, and whatever you choose will have an impact in the story, your progression, and combat. Want to test dynamite and rouse the chupacabra from its slumber? Well, that's your call. Legit combat the is also riddled with decisions. Will you move away from an impending attack or position yourself in the best place for a big blow? With character-driven abilities like a slick teleport or a well-timed boom, you'll be dancing circles around your foes. But mind your magia points, partner. You don't want to find yourself in a tighter spot. Strategize with your moves, manage your abilities, and knock that go clean off that chupacabra. Don't just take my word for it, though. Add Arco to your wish list and try out the demo. Already did. It's time to taste the dust and grit of Arco's list. world for yourself. Oh boy. Looks like uh, Captain Toad a little bit. Oh, there's Jiggies. Project Timmy. I wish this was my world premiere. Oh, pixel heart game. What the duck? Yes. This looks really good. This is the kind of game I'm looking for. Oh, is it like flicky? 
We have to get all the all the ducks. Or like Yoshi. Oh, we're moving for a second. I thought it was for a second another builder. Naughty geese, eh? This is my kind of game. Yeah, for that one game? Yeah, probably. Survivor clone. This looks cute. Oh, okay. Flying heroes. There's multiplayer too, I guess. This is literally a similar game to played Monster Hunter World in Terraria. There's literally a game also called uh, just Slime Hero. Carnaval tem muitas cores, muita música, muitas roupas elegantes e, e divertidas. Então, um, um jogo que conseguisse misturar a mecânica de design de roupas com até mesmo gerenciar um desfile, eu acho que seria algo muito divertido. Há algo que existe em Colômbia que é o tejo. O objetivo deste jogo é lançar um, um pedaço de metal a um aro e o papel lleno de pólvora explote. Então, eu acho que algo com isso seria muito interessante de fazer. O transporte público, porque é bastante caótico e tienes que estar como que muito atento y creo que es una experiencia como de survival y ver como que a qué micro le entras es más creo que hay un juego peruano que que se inspiró bastante en eso para hacer un juego creo que podríamos hacer algo con el día de muertos y con el cempasúchil y con esta idea de que nos vienen a visitar cada año y la comida va perdiendo el sabor y creo que eso también estaría muy padre para un videojuego World Premiere. World Premiere. En la entretejida línea del tiempo, acá en esta tierra ya habitada, llegaron ellos. Los primeros se decían ser. Acá en la llanura donde cubrimos hoy con nuestro cuerpo el manto gris de esta ciudad desolada. Ellos, los anhelantes viajeros del mar, nacidos del continente de los reyes, sin saber qué les deparaba, el trabajo, sudor y lágrimas. Armaron sus casas de barro y plantaron vida, compartiendo con otros cuya naturaleza de Ok, ya está sin... Y 
con más fuerza que nunca lucharon para mantener sus raíces, sus creencias. Damn, another world premiere. Split. A fumaça brota do chão e cobre o horizonte. Fires continue to rage through the wilderness of the Brazilian Pantanal, the world. Oh. An RPG. I'm not expecting that. Was she a shaman? Among the stars. I'm wishlisting that. That looks cool. A different game comes up when I search that. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back for a second. I see the Steam logo, but I don't find it on Steam. In fact, it gives me a completely different game when I search that. Why does this keep happening? Why are there so many games that have the same name on Steam? Okay, let me just real quick here. Let me try their studio real quick. Split Studio Games. Split Studio dot games slash among the stars. Okay, so trailer. Where's the wishlist link? Steam. Okay, I click that. Oh, it's 
It literally just goes to a Steam logo. You can't wishlist it yet? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, before we go back into this, um, I'm just going to see if I can find Split Studio on Steam. Okay, well, that's not working. Let me try their website again. It's like, because there's a thing that says, see our other games. Okay. Okay. World. Let's see what happens if I go to this one. Wizivers or whatever. Okay. Uh, 3D platform game with 2D animations. Okay, well, this actually looked kind of neat too, actually. I might wishlist this anyways, because it looks kind of neat. Okay, well, let's see. Okay. Do they not have a Steam link? Let me search for Wizavier and see what comes up. Wizavier. They don't, they must not have a Steam presence. Because their games are not coming up. Anyways, I've got their website. Let's go back to this. Oh, you don't say. Un sueño profundo es un doc videojuego narrativo que sigue la vida del fotoperiodista Juan Aguirre. Él se verá involucrado en uno de los misterios políticos más importantes en la historia de México, el asesinato del presidente electo Álvaro Obregón. Este demo comienza en el año de 1921, siete años antes del magnicidio. En este nivel, el tercero en el orden del juego se desarrolla en la Plaza de la Constitución, donde se celebran las fiestas del centenario de la independencia. Como periodista, Juan cuenta con una serie de habilidades y mecánicas que le ayudarán a ir cumpliendo distintas misiones en cada nivel. La mecánica principal de Juan es su cámara. Esta mecánica fue desarrollada teniendo en mente las dificultades y los retos de la fotografía análoga de la época. Y por otro lado, Juan puede recolectar objetos históricos coleccionables. Algunos pertenecen a colaboraciones que tiene Mácula con institutos como la Hemeroteca Nacional. I don't know if they had cameras that good 100 years ago. I'm just saying. También, como parte de su labor periodística, Juan entrevista a distintos personajes en el nivel para ir descifrando el misterio que lo envuelve. En algunas ocasiones, Juan se encontrará con personajes históricos que lo harán contextualizarse más en esta época. Juan tiene una libreta que funciona como un hub del juego. En ella podrás encontrar las diferentes misiones, las fotografías que has tomado, los objetos con los que has interactuado y los personajes históricos que has mm. conocido. Y por último, Juan cuenta con su modo metiche. Esta función te ayudará a escuchar conversaciones secretas y encontrar objetos que te ayudarán a avanzar en las misiones. A través de la historia de Juan, podrás explorar espacios reales de la Ciudad de México, como el Zócalo de la Ciudad, el ex convento de la Merced, e incluso entrar a Palacio Nacional para adentrarte en el México postrevolucionario. Hmm. Very interesting game. I'm gonna turn this down again. Give me one sec, guys. Yeah, it's getting too loud. Kuri Lemu, eh?
Interesting. You really show much though. Oh wait, no, here we go. Okay. Oh, this game. Tale of the Stolen Potato. Frogs. Wait, I already counted this game. I can't count that again. That's where we got... What the frog? Oh, my frog. hablando de Luis Miguel, que eso estaría súper interesante de así, de el sol de México. O sea, así como latinoamericanos, yo creo que es una de las personas como más icónicas que yo sé que han existido y trascendido en los países dentro de Latinoamérica. Selena, Dios mío, Selena merece un videojuego. ¿Y qué tipo de videojuego? ¿Qué tal uno de ritmo? No. No sé, Chayanne. Creo que Chayanne es un buen ejemplo. Es como uno de los cantantes que une generaciones y a, sobre todo a las mamás y a los hijos. Creo que Chayanne sería un buen, un buen ejemplo ahí para colocar de Latinoamérica. World Premier. World Premier. Claro, Invisible Dead Moon's Eyes.
As we reach the midpoint, let me take a moment to thank our presenting sponsors, Fellow Traveler and Indie Games, labeled dedicated to storytelling in games. Check their upcoming titles, Wonder Stars and Culebra and the Souls of Limbo. Raw Fury, a publisher with a long-standing commitment to supporting developers in Latin America, showcased by our opening title, Set Zillions. And Devolver Digital, renowned for supporting and promoting the artistic visions of developers around the world as exemplified by Neva, an emotionally charged action-adventure game that shines with its breathtaking watercolor landscapes and touching soundtrack. So who better than them to present our next segment?
wish list now on Steam. He used to say that Midnight Cove was the city that never wakes up. Just another boring shithole of a town forgotten by God's touch. I'll take a look at it. This place has become a blooming dumping ground. You see, we might have work to do. I've heard that someone's been asking about you down at the Rusty Crow. Here, yeah, to both of you. I promise they will pay. It was taken away. There is a horrible stench and black goo everywhere. Play the demo. Now on Steam. Soon available on your favorite platforms. Despelote is a slice of life adventure about childhood and the magical grip that soccer held over the people of Ecuador in 2001. By then, Julian Cordero, part of this small depth team from Ecuador, was at the perfect age to embrace not just the sport, but also the freedom and magic he felt just by kicking the ball around. With the ball at our feet, the world transforms into a playground for mischievous adventures, wonderful exploration, and unforgettable human connections. All kinds of connections. But time is not on your side. Taking away precious recess moments and park visits, would you seize every opportunity for fun or be left watching wistfully from the edge of the window? Despelote will soon put the ball at your feet, but for now, catch these content creators playing an exclusive demo on their channels starting on June 10th. Despelote, a game by Julian Cordero and Sebastián Balbuena. to Ultima Tower. Ultimate Robot Paradise. Yeah, right. All right, everybody, this takes a reset. Next time driving, use full stop. without a loyal crew, and I'm searching for the best. Okay, team, let's focus. Watch your back, Rio! The Alliance isn't letting up. We need to get stronger. It's going to be tough, but I can't do it without you guys.
は気に瀕している巨大な悪が今ある全ての惑星の崩壊を引き起こしている全ての命の崩壊危険狂気最後の決戦の時が来た The hechizo del concepto de las maquinitas que son este lugar que eran los arcades era un lugar que no le gustaba a los papás en los noventas porque decían están de vagos nada más etc y sí atraía a un cierto tipo de población pero recuerdo que había una señora en mi pueblo que se llamaba Pasita y recuerdo que cuando llovía apagaba las maquinitas a fuerzas porque decía que una vez alguien en la ciudad de México le había caído un rayo y le había explotado la máquina y nos quería cuidar de eso We had moved from the Dominican Republic to the United States and uh, we never went out. And so for us, video games was the way that we would interact with each other and also have friends over. And so my mother was the one who introduced me to, to video games. Muchísimas memorias hermosas. Me acuerdo en realidad, ahora que me haces acordar, es de ir a la feria y comprar los cartuchos de Family, el adaptador, y poder jugar un montón de otras versiones de juegos hackeados. Y me acuerdo en particular uno que era un hack de Chip and Dale, que estaba también Mario y Sonic como personajes elegibles. Y la verdad que tipo, me quedó esa memoria grabada y era muy divertido. World Premiere. Hello? Is this working? Okay. My mic unplugged itself. I need a new cable for my mic because it's it's just covered in like stuff. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. I how long was that like that? Hopefully not very long. It might have been when I moved my mic one of the times.
Anyways, um, no, don't do that. Fifteen minutes were my mu really. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Oh man, I hope it wasn't super long. Okay, let me check one thing. And the last clip I made was not that long ago. I should have fucking paid attention to my audio. Okay, let me see. Last clips. Okay. So let's go to my last clip, see if I have audio on that. I'm not hearing anything. Great, it was that long. Oh my god. that's not playing audio no I came back yeah 15 minutes ago it's literally been off for 15 minutes oh and I never noticed I never looked over at my audio to see if it was going why did I oh god It must have been when I came back from the last break. Because I checked the clip I made right after that, and there's no audio on it. Oh, my God. Well, there goes, like, 15 minutes of silence. At least the trailers are still playing. Holy crap, me. What the fuck? I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I didn't even notice the mic had unplugged. It has lights and shit, too. I should... Is all my fault. Uh, all right, let's just finish this Latin games thing. I feel bad now. I let everybody down with that. Didn't even fucking notice. God damn it. Oh, well, let's just keep going. God, that pisses me off. is this thanks this looks rad by the way Sweet birthday. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, I like the cloud lady. Oh, this game again.
Okay, there's an ad play. We already saw this game, technically. Game looks sick, though. It's okay, the ad ran through a game we already saw, so... Let's see, what's this? Um... Free alpha footage, eh? Uh, build. Span. Beacon of Nedia. Uh... Let's see. Watching every time I move my mic now. <coughs> Survive. Survive. Ooh, Dajin Entertainment. Just didn't see you there. Road out, eh? Instead of Roadhouse, it's Road Out. It's kind of cool, I guess. Kind of cool, I guess. Ratika Games. Time in a quiet town. Help the people in town. We count this as no, I'm not gonna count this as farming. Boy Scout. Super Crane HD. Hmm. Wait a minute. I recognize those sound effects from Freak Zone games. That sound effect too. Ah. 
have some of my almond peppero, aka um um Pocky. World, World premiere. premiere. Ah. Oh. This is some Evangelion looking shit. Paradox. Interesting. All right. I'm game. Is this not on Steam? Not on Steam. Soul Quest. Hack and Slash. Alright, cool. I added that one to on my wish list. I must be not. World premiere. World premiere. Game by Mugo, eh? Mario RPG ass game. Oh, Doctor Eternal Eclipse. Okay. The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. In Chile, we have muchas leyendas urbanas or mitos, por así decirlo. Y creo que el Caleuche es un barco fantasma muy icónico, entonces creo que deberíamos aprovechar eso y no he visto Caleuche en videojuegos, lo he visto en cómics, películas, pero no en videojuegos. Una que me encanta creo que es el Chupacabras, el Chupacabras es este animal ahí mitológico lleno, rodeado de leyendas tanto políticas como sociales en México, que creo que haría una buena historia. No sé si es eh, ni siquiera Argentina, tal vez en Mendoza, que es donde soy yo, de Mendoza que es el futre, una persona sin cabeza del campo. El campo mendocino, tipo desierto, que anda ahí, te agarra el futre y te hace mierda, así que no, no, <laughs> hay que Steam. correr del futre. Thybot Studios, okay. Whoa. Okay. Embrasomnia. The live action cutscenes. Oh, interesting. World premiere. I gotta go back. I think I might have spelled that game.
Tenebris, not Tembris. Tembris Somnia. There we go. Was there a game called Tenbris on here? That's like a platformer. A lot of them are actually. It's not sad. Okay. Let's get back to this. Old premiere. What's oh, like an XCOM survival horror game? Interesting. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like Resident Evil. What the hell is that? It's a prisoner. No one telling the truth. I got a shotgun. Vultures, scavenger of death. Okay. Stay with me, okay. Oh my god! Wow. Aliens. Okay, what do we got here? Saboris. Oh, you play as chicken? You play as chicken? You are chicken? Bagak? You 
buat chicken. Chicken. You are chicken. Child, log for the job that consumed me. I can make that job. Cool. Limited power. The crown weighs heavy. It took so much from me. Dark Crown, pretty good. What's the cover in music? Oh. Digital Exorcist CF1, okay. Interesting. Oh, there's a free chapter in this. Okay. I'm gonna add the free chapter to my library. Cool. From the co-creators of Tormented Souls. Abstract Digital. Astral Rod, eh? What kind of survival horror game, I guess? Yeah. Metro style? I'm okay with those. I'm more than okay with those. I love those. Back of War. Cool. A lot of good stuff from this one. I guess this makes up for wholesome games. And that concludes our showcase for today. We hope you're already oh, wow. diving into our Steam sale, exploring demos, snagging discounts, and updating your wish lists with all the incredible games you've seen. A massive thank you to our presenting sponsors, Devolver Digital, 
Rough Fury, and fellow traveler. We're also very grateful to Panic, along with our broadcast partners IGN and Steam. And let's not forget our invaluable allies and partners River, Adva, Arcela Sound, Press Over, Philo Animation Studios, Cafe Cultivar, and Mion Naroshi. A huge thanks to Jeff Keighley, Emily Bushock, and the entire Summer Game Fest team. Their dedication has been instrumental in amplifying our voices and showcasing our talent to the world. That's what it's Before all about. Before we wrap up, here's a message to the scouts and publishers tuning in. Over half of the games showcased today are either self-published or open for publishing opportunities. So if any of these games caught your eye but you're unsure of how to contact them, reach out. We can help you connect. Stay connected with us on social media and join us throughout the week for developer interviews and exclusive demos. I'm Steffi Varela. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting for you today. But of course, we have one more thing. And trust oh. me, it's going to blow your sombrero right off. Hasta la próxima. My sombrero? But I need that. Premiere. Santa Mascota. El pueblo donde no pasa nada. Hasta ahora. Entonces aquí está tu servidor, limpiando el cochinero. Metroidvania or something? Mariachi Legends? Mariachi Legends, yeah. Okay, let's see. This is on a Metroidvania, apparently. Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, Rara Boom. Yeah, we saw this game. Is this the... Oh, is this the next show? Okay. Alright, guys, before we start that, I am going to take another bathroom break. We got one more show, and then... Um, after this, the stream will take a break, because I'll probably go make dinner or something, and then Chrome will be back and we'll watch the... Uh, the Xbox event. I, w I was going to watch the future game show thing, but I think I'll hold off and watch that maybe sometime during the week. Um, but yeah. Uh, Latin, uh, Latin America game showcase was fantastic. I showcase, I, I wish this is a ton of games from that. Uh, despite the 15 minutes of scuff where I had no audio, uh, I had a great time with that. A lot of cool games. Lots of really cool games. It's so funny that, like, we went from wholesome games, a really, really s silly reason for me to get upset, but a legit one. Um, and then we go into the Latin American Game Showcase, and it's just full of r bangers, like, at one after another, like, break it. Even if I didn't like all the games... I still like looked at them and I thought they were cool.
So won't be around for the Xbox event probably, but I do want to warn you there's at least one game with copyright music. Yeah, I know. And I'm sure I'll I'll find out. But uh when I go to upload these within the next month, I'll find out what's been copyrighted or not. But I'll be careful uh when I do that. So thanks a lot for the heads up though, Gilin. You're you're a wonderful person and you deserve all the head pats. All of them. Everyone head patted. Anyways, um, I will be right back. I'm going to go grab some more water. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I encourage everybody else to do the same. Take a quick break, and we'll come back, and we'll look at the Women-Led Games Showcase. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial, and I'll play some music for you. All right. 